Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Michael, and basically I just want to do a little video one real quick because I've enough time, and yeah, basically in a nutshell, I, well, y'all know I've been having struggles in terms of depression, injuries, upsets, but no, man, life is all about bumps and bruises. You you gotta take the good with the bad. The the bananas with the oranges or whatever fruit you don't like. And if you like all fruit, hey, you are a one in a million. But uh, did you know a tomato is a fruit? There you go. Mine equals blow. And if you like those, then curveball. If not, ah, you don't like every fruit. Anyways, but nah, you read through Facebook. Facebook is a lot of, I, I see, I look at it as a lot of opportunity. Michael, why do you see it as opportunity? Well, I see it as a chance to help those that, you know, they, I, I see people use it as a sense of venting, but when you can have a person, a human being, rely to you instead of saying, uh, I'm here for you. I, I don't like saying I'm here for someone. I'd rather, I show it, if that makes sense. Like, if I ever see something like, I'm going to kill myself, ASAP almost. Like, I drop all the stuff but the soap, and I message, and I message them, I say, hey, are you okay? Like, I'm a caring person like that. I I, I want to impact people, not uh, go through the motions, as some would say. It, it, it's so important that we mean what we say and do, and, and follow through with it, most importantly. I, I feel we, as a generation, we've, we've lost the sense of uh, urgency to help another individual. And, uh, you know, not everyone is perfect. Not everyone is a people's person and can talk to everybody. You know, that's okay. I'm not, I'm not saying everybody drop what you're doing and go talk to uh, the person that you hate. You know, not everyone can do that. Me, there's... There, <sighs> It's really hard for me to hate someone. Like, it is crazy, but I I struggle with it myself, so I empathize with you guys, and, and I, I get it, but man, just, you're not alone. If you're feeling, at this point in time, you're struggling, like things are not going your way, know that this is a short moment in your life that not everything will be perfect. Life doesn't come with a rule book. The nurse doesn't slap you on the booty, <laughs> unless you're me, and say, ah, you a cute baby. Okay, maybe I slapped her butt, but that's beside the point. Basically, I want to talk to you guys because I, I feel a sense of, uh, I, I feel moodiness, almost. Like, I guess this is the time of the month, October, ooh, the scares are coming alive, and people's hormones and everything else is getting up, because guess what's right around the corner? That's right, Santa Claus and the big red suit. Yeah, that's right, the suit. I would love to be Santa, but the only difference is I'm black. Hey, Santa's black. That would be lovely in the mall. But no, just we need a we need to have a purpose to smile. You know, like I'm not saying be like the Joker. You want to see how I got these scars? Why so serious? <laughs> no, I mean like you need that one person. Cause I, cause I get we as people are very time oriented. We are always either busy or we have busy schedules. Me, uh, I just happen to like go around my schedule and be able to help someone. I just, I don't know. Not everyone can do that. I don't know your situation, so that's okay. But uh, I just, I just find it when I'm able to help someone. It just, it just makes my day better. And I don't know it. There's just a lot of people. This, this is a video for if you are struggling in some way, shape, or form, I would love to help you. Um, not Note that I'm human. I'm only person. And you also have family and friends. Use them. They are resources that they care for you. If you are depressed, you feel alone, man, don't feel alone. You should never feel alone. If I had a, I had a best friend get run over by a train, but it wasn't because of depression. He got, okay. I'm just going to stop there. Anyways, but bad things happened in my life, and I've lost a friend to suicide and all that other good jazz, so I get it, and I hate suicide with a dying passion because I feel it is a loss of bare dreams. I feel it's a loss of the chance that they are individuals. They are people that could have created beautiful things. Each and every one of you are beautiful, and I just strongly, I am pro-life. I think what they do with the babies, I don't respect that. I will never respect that, but you know, things happen, and... I'm not that people, but if I happen to ever have a child out of the blue, 
Not, I, w- I probably wouldn't put myself in the situation, but if it happened, I would not kill it. I could not find myself to kill it. I would be a man, man up. I would drop almost every, I'd drop everything and take care of that child. It's just how I am. I don't want to be, I didn't have a dad, so I want my child to have a father figure to look up to instead of being alone and a mother. And so, yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Hey, but uh, no, besides that, don't be depressed. Don't don't feel that you're alone. Don't feel that <sighs> things are hard, okay? Things will be hard. I'm not going to knock that. I'm not going to lie to you because you don't deserve to be lied to. You're looking for honesty. <sighs> I'm here. If you absolutely have no one, I'm here. Hope you all have an amazing night. This is just a video I wanted to do because <sighs> just, I just felt it, a burning passion in my heart to just say this. And it's not perfect always, but you know what? I'm not perfect. I'm just a human being that loves people. And that is my goal. Motivational speaker. And a YouTuber. That's right. It's probably going to go on YouTube. If you see this on Facebook, hey guys. And yeah. <sighs> yeah. Got a good workout in. My bulging muscles. I'm so sorry. But yeah. Have an amazing night. I care for every single one of you. Live life to the fullest. Y'all are worth it. Y'all are a dime a dozen. Some of you are like... Yeah, so bye. See y'all in the next video. My teeth are so white. My god. Okay, bye. <laughs>